Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be configuring the native chart web part in SharePoint 2010, which is a code-free solution that allows users who have design access to create live data visualizations. The process is fairly simple. We just go to the page where we're going to insert the web part. We'll edit the page. We'll select insert web part. And under the category, we'll choose business data and we'll drop the chart web part in here. You're going to notice you get a couple of options and you're going to notice throughout the process there are visuals to kind of help aid us figure out what we're accomplishing here. So a couple of options, advanced properties and data and appearance. We're going to select data and appearance first. Click OK. We're going to first connect to the uh, chart, connect the chart to data. Uh, and we're going to walk through a four-step process here to uh, configure the data connection wizard. We're going to choose the data source. We're going to connect to the data source. We're going to retrieve and filter the, the, the content so we can filter what from the list or what from the Excel service. Excel sheet we want to bring back across and then we can bind start binding the uh, chart to data so what's go what's going to be on my x axis y axis do we need to do any analysis things like that uh, in my option here in my example I'm just going to connect to a list but as you can see we can connect to another web part business data catalog as well as a uh, Excel services so we're going to connect to a list uh, here's the site where I'm binding or I'm dropping this web part to these are the lists on the site so in my case I've created a custom list that's called sales to date and I'm gonna bind to that uh, list and uh, here's the list I could come in here and filter so this is option number three where I can come in here and filter I say I wanna filter by where month equals to whatever value as an example I'm not gonna run any filters for here and I'm just gonna select next and on the next and final screen we're gonna bind the chart to data so we can come in here and define our uh, series so this will be our amount uh, the series type is going to be of type column uh, the uh, series X and Y axis types the Y axis I would want for it to be amount and the X axis I'd like for that to be month so I'll show me month uh, sales per month uh, you could add you could get more sophisticated with this you could add your own custom uh, fields as well and give them default values you could define label or hyperlink fields. You could also do some data analysis where, for example, it makes sense for me to maybe show a moving average uh, for my sales or a mean or a median. Uh, let's do the uh, mean as an example in here. And there are some advanced properties as well, but that pretty much defines how we connect to uh, the list that I have in place. So here's my. Uh, my sales information January through August and it's showing the information the sales amount in here and we've got a mean line as well let's go back and kinda change the look and feel of this so let's go back to uh, data and appearance customize our chart these are all the different types of charts we can choose so it could be an area, a line, a pie I'm gonna stick with uh, with the bar with the with the columns here and then I'm just gonna flip them around I'm gonna say reverse the columns and I'm gonna say next but you see all the options in here click next on the next screen I'm gonna change the uh, theme not a lot of themes to work with but you've got some options in here we're gonna I'm gonna do chocolate uh, drawing style we'll do uh, cylinder see how that and notice it's it's also reflecting for us on the right hand side and the transparency of things will do uh, 40 percent and then uh, we'll do a 400 for the width and a 400 for the uh, height and if uh, the, the the format of this image itself because what in initially what we're essentially what we're creating is is an image uh, we'll keep it as PNG we'll select next do you want to give this chart a title? Sure, we'll do that. The title will be Sales to Date. And this will be, uh, we'll keep it as is. We'll just increase the size of it. Sales to Date. You can position it wherever you want. We're not going to show the legend, access and grid lines. 
do you want to show it yes or no if you don't want to show it just do no uh, show the access title if you want or not assuming people know what what's going on uh, the font of this uh, there's data labels and markers uh, do you want to show the labels yes or no let's just show the labels in here and then you've got hyperlinks and tooltips if you want to provide that information and then we'll go ahead and select finish so we've just configured our chart web part to connect to the sales to date information I can come in here and view this image or this chart web part that shows me sales to date and I've got a mean line in here as well that shows me the mean of uh, this uh, sales related information under advanced properties in here you can come in here and you've got a number of options to choose from uh, chart areas the legend uh, the annotation uh, there's basically a number of these different uh, options to choose from but for the most part I just wanted to kinda keep this simple walk through the process of how we configured uh, this uh, web part so this concludes this video thanks for tuning in and until next time